Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. After entertaining Hong Kong audiences and Asian movie fans for almost three decades, the king of comedy, Stephen Chow Sing Chi, delivers one of his final leading roles in the hilarious and often forgotten family comedy, CJ7. Previously known by its earlier working title of A Hope, the film received mixed reviews from critics upon release, yet has went on to gain a loyal following with Chow's fans over the years. For CJ7, Stephen stars, directs, co-writes and co-produces, working with a budget of around 20 million US dollars, although he had intended only to direct before stepping into the role of the loving yet poverty-stricken father known as Tai. In hindsight, CJ7 was an interesting move for Choi after gaining some hugely recognisable attention and praise for Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle, with this movie coming four years after the latter. While this would be a big departure from his usual nonsensical comedies, Choi still manages to keep enough Mo Lai To throughout CJ7 to keep his older fans happy, while at the same time, cleverly introducing his new younger audience to his hilarious format. This is also aided with nods to his aforementioned hits such as Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle through scenes shown in a dream sequence. From Stephen Chow, director of Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle. Although Chow's final role here would be more of a supporting one, he would go on to lend his voice to the animated follow-up and cameo in the star-studded beginning of the Great Revival. In the years that followed, he would continue his work behind the camera as the director of films such as Journey to the West, Conquering the Demons, The Mermaid, and The New King of Comedy, as well as producing Journey to the West, Demon Strike Back, the Choi Hark directed sequel that would see him cameo alongside the revered director in the closing credits. It's also worth noting that, shortly after CJ7, Choi Sing Chi served as a producer on three films, including the fun Shaolin Girl, a loosely related sequel of sorts to Shaolin Soccer, and the Stephen Fung directed film Jump. The third would be the critically panned and devastating Hollywood production Dragon Ball Evolution, a film that hurt fans so bad and flopped so hard that I still strongly believe today that this was one of the main reasons Choi retreated from the industry for a number of years. While Choi also pays homage to John Woo's Mission Impossible 2 with a pair of exploding sunglasses, he has mentioned in past interviews how Spielberg's infamous film, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, proved to be a big inspiration. But at the same time, the film can be seen referencing the Chinese crewed space program known as Shenzhou 6, which was completed in 2006, although the real Shenzhou 7 would successfully launch in September 2008, just seven months after CJ7 was released. Of course, in the film, the name would also refer to an upgrade of the rich kid's robotic dog known as CJ1. The film would go on to spawn an animated sequel or retelling called CJ7 The Cartoon in 2010 and later again in 2015 with CJ7 Super Q Team continuing to focus on the children's market. Aside from Stephen Choi and his Shaolin Soccer Kung Fu Hustle co-star Lam Chi Chung, CJ7 mostly features a mainland Chinese cast including the lovely Kitty Zhang who had also shared the screen with Chung in Shaolin Girl the same year. Here, Kitty plays the school teacher of Choi's son, returning to voice the same character in the 2010 animation. Of course, she would also work again with Choi Sing Chi in the aforementioned Choi Produce feature Jump, before returning a number of years later to work under him in the hilarious comedy fantasy The Mermaid, which also saw an appearance from Lam Chi Chung once again. As with many older Hong Kong Wuxiao movies, which would see females playing males and vice versa, CJ7 features actress Josie Zhu Zhao playing Choi's son Dickie. Aside from the challenge of playing a boy, Zhao delivers a fantastic performance for her debut role with hilarity, cuteness and emotion 
that would bag her the award for Best Newcomer at the 28th Hong Kong Film Awards. Zhao would return to voice her character for both CJ7 animation projects and go on to star in films such as Jingle Maz, Mulan, Just Another Pandora's Box, Future X Cops, The Legend is Born, Ip Man, and Wu Dang, among many others. Both come across well together on screen, proving to have a great relationship, with plenty of humour shining through their hardships, such as their fun pastime of splatting cockroaches on their living room wall. The film itself would go on to receive a further three nominations, including Best Supporting Actor for Stephen Choi, Best Facial Effects, and Best Film. Shot in Ningbo, China, CJ7 also sees a cameo from Stephen Choi's regular cohort, Vincent Koch, who also serves as his co-producer and co-writer once again. Wilson Chin, director of the Inspector Wear Skirt series, Prince of the Sun and Super Lady Cop, aids Choi as the executive director of the project, a job he had also done on Kung Fu Hustle and is highly noticeable in many of the behind-the-scenes featurettes. While there isn't a lot of action throughout the film, CJ7 benefits from having the talents of fight choreographers DD Ku and Tony Ling on board, as well as the prolific Yun Shun Yi, who also cameos as a UFO crazed farmer. With a class full of talented children who represent many versions of adult characters often seen in Chow's biggest comedies, a super cute alien creature created with impressive CGI, and plenty of genuinely hilarious moments with the right amount of emotional drama, it's fair to say that CJ7 does the job as an entertaining Chow Sing Chi movie, and is absolutely well worth checking out.